so students in this video i am going to explain you about childbirth in detail so i cannot explain you here in a practical way so i have mentioned here the diagram so i am going to explain you with the help of diagram but you can understand properly in the way of my explanation so listen properly such that you people can easily understand so normally we know that in the process of the pregnancy the development of the baby will be done for 9 months so, right in the 9 months the development of the baby will be done and after 9th month then what will happen then the delivery of the baby will be done right the uh, baby will get come out to the external environment and here where the development at which region the development of the baby will be done we know that the development of the baby will be done in woman but in which region in the region of uterus right and that region is called as uterus it is uh, commonly called as womb but in the scientific word it is called as uterus so in the region of uterus the development of the baby will be done see here uh, after after this fertilization then the development of the baby will be done right so the development of the baby will be done for 9 months as so i have said you right so for each and every month the size of the baby will be increased right the size of the baby will get gradually increased so how it will get increased actually by taking nutrition food so once the pregnant once the lady will get pregnant then doctor will recommend her to take nutritious food such that the development of the baby will be in a good way so he, she will take proper nutrition food and once the proper nutrition food will be taken then it will reach to baby how here is a question how through umbilical cord right so if you see this is a pipe this pipe is called as umbilical cord so through this umbilical cord what will happen the nutrients which are going to take i mean uh, for example you are going to take sprouts which are highly nutritious and the nutrients which are present in the sprouts will enter through this umbilical cord into the baby right and it will attach to the stomach of the baby at the navel position fine so through this umbilical cord the nutrients which are present uh, inside the mother i mean which were consumed by the mother will enter into the umbilical cord and finally will enter and it will reach to the baby fine such that once the baby will get nutrition then what will happen then the baby uh, will lead to growth if he will uh, he will increase in size he or she will get increased in its size so in the same way will be done for throughout 8 months and coming to the 9th month the delivery will be done and once the size of the baby will get gradually increased then the uterus the diameter of the uterus will also get increased why because uh, here the size of the baby is also gradually increased so the uterus muscles will get uh, you know it'll get elongated and it will get uh, it will get elongated actually and then you can see from external from external side you can see that uh, big stomach right you can see big stomach how because the size of the baby is gradually increased in the uterus so that the uterus muscles will get uh, will get elongated such that you can see the size of the stomach will get gradually increased right so now you got, now you have got how the nutrients will get reached into this uh, baby through this umbilical cord and even how the size of the baby will get gradually increased so here one more important thing which you people have to remember is that here one how the childbirth will be done actually childbirth will be done with the help of the uterus muscles so this uterus is made up of a strong muscles right and they are called as uterus muscles and this uterus muscles plays a major and vital role during childbirth of this baby how you know the uterus muscles will undergo contraction and relaxation right remember you know heart also will undergo contraction and relaxation to pump out the blood in the same way this uterus muscles will also do contraction and relaxation to send this baby out to the external environment fine so once the contraction is done then the baby will pushed towards vagina i mean towards a uh, uh, towards uh, towards external environment fine so once the contraction is done then the baby will pushed out once the relaxation is done then baby will be stable and once again the contraction is done then again the baby will pulled out he will be pushed out actually right so how the delivery will be done actually let us see now so actually here there is the pink color the pink color layer which i have mentioned here is called as amnion sac it is called as amnion sac so what is this amnion sac actually this amnion sac will contains a fluid and uh, this fluid what is the major function of the fluid let us see now so once the development of the baby will be done uh, towards 8th month and comes towards the 9th month then his head will move towards down position towards down position as i have mentioned in the diagram so now what will happen you know the slowly the baby slowly this particular baby will move towards the uh, vagina towards the external environment then what will happen then this amnion sac will get ruptured this amnion sac which is pink color layer will get ruptured so once that amnion sac will get ruptured then the fluid which is present in that amnion sac will get leaked 
So once it is get leaked, then it moves out through vagina. That fluid will move out through vagina. Then women can identify that yes, baby is developing properly in her womb, and it's a time for delivery, and she will get ready for it. Right? She will get ready for the delivery. So ready for delivery in the sense uh, where she will be, uh, where she will be in a protected place near the hospitals. In such a way, she will think about herself. Yes, I have to be protected. So uh, you can, she can identify by this amniotic fluid which will be leaked out. Fine. So here, once the amniotic fluid will be leaked out, then the particular woman uh, will be, uh, in the sense, she should be ready for the delivery. Now, what will happen? So, uh, in major cases, in 95% of cases, the development of the baby will be done, and at the time of the delivery, the baby uh, head will push, will be presented towards downside, and the legs will be presented towards upside. So, once the delivery will be done, firstly, the head will come out through the vagina. Later, the legs will come out through the vagina. This will happen only in the 95% of cases and major cases actually. But coming to the 5% of cases, they are highly risk. So what will happen in that 5% of cases? Let us see. Firstly, the legs will come out and then the head will come out. So if, if there are chances, then only they will, then only that particular baby will come out to the external environment from the uterus of a woman. But if, if the legs will come out, then it will be very difficult for the mother to push baby and even it will be difficult for the doctor to pull that particular baby from the uterus of particular woman who is pregnant, right? So major cases, only the head will come out such that it will be easy for the doctors to pull particular baby to the external environment. But once the legs will come out, then it is highly risk and highly difficult where women will feel very, very pain. She can't bear that pain itself. Okay. So this is what... Uh, you know how the baby will come out to the external environment and once the baby is delivered then what will happen here there is umbilical cord right and that particular region of the umbilical cord will get cut off by the doctors but some of the region only some umbilical only some region of umbilical cord will be left towards the navel of the baby and that umbilical cord will get turned into navel for uh, it will take some days some particular days and it will get converted to navel right only some region only uh, little region of the umbilical cord will be left over to the baby after the cutting and that region will get converted into the navel fine students and here one more important and most important thing which you people have to remember is that once the delivery of the baby is done uh, then a watery substance called as colostrum will get developed in the mammary glands of that uh, of the delivered woman right so where are memory glands actually memory glands are present in the breast i mean in the chest region right so what is this colostrum actually this colostrum is a liquid which is highly nutritious which is highly nutritious and this colostrum will get fed to the baby fed to the baby so once the delivery of the baby is done then that particular woman in that in the body of that particular woman the colostrum will get uh, will get will be accumulated in the region of memory glands i mean in their breast so once that colostrum is filled in their breast in the memory glands then it will be easy for the baby to get feeded once that nutritious cholesterol will get fed to the baby then uh, he will lead to growth i mean the antibodies will get generated in the body of the baby once he will get fed with this cholesterol fine students so uh, in this way the immune system of the body will uh, immune system of the body of the baby will get gradually increased so immune system will get highly developed once he will get fed with this cholesterol uh, if it is given by the particular woman right so this is about childbirth and the childbirth should be done very very carefully so the woman and the baby should be very very safe and it will be the precautions will be taken up by the doctor so there will be no need of worry so this is about childbirth students and i hope you like my explanation if you have any doubts regarding this video you can comment in the comment box and i am going to clarify your doubts immediately and in the next video i am going to uh, tell you some of the precautions and some of the nutritional diet which should be taken by the pregnant woman fine so thank you